Hi guys, it's Future Taylor. I'm really trying to edit and catch up on the vlogs. I've having I've been having issues with my laptop, so let's hope this works out today. I am it's a Friday. I'm editing so this video can go up today. If I can get this to cooperate, I'm gonna try to do two back to back vlogs, and you guys might be seeing one tomorrow because I do need to play catch up a little bit. So the vlog you guys are seeing this week is from the first week of July. My vlogs only used to be one week behind, but since I've been having issues with technology, they are now definitely farther behind. Hence why I want to try to post two this week. So I just want you guys to know what you're about to see. This is the week of 4th of July. This is the week I went back to work. So I am officially in the summer school program as of right now. So you guys know I don't really film much on Sunday. So the first clip you're going to see is after work on Monday. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. And Joe came to eat at an outdoor restaurant because he got out early. I had my first half day. And I'm going to flip over the camera so you guys can see my delicious, delicious drink. Joe's Hennessy and Lemonade. The lemonade. Mine's a watermelon truly margarita. I got to film our appetizer. But it was chicken Mozambique egg rolls. Which I tell you guys all the time, chicken Mozambique is very common this area it's like a portuguese dish oh but it was wrapped in egg roll and deep fried it had mozambique sauce to dip it in so good and then this is our view it's right by the water beautiful day so got a jack daniels burger with double of meat cocoa fries and i got a chicken tortellini pesto dish girl loves me some pasta and joe loves his burgers Welcome to our neighborhood. Alrighty guys, so today you saw a very quick clip. I am obviously back at work, I'm at the summer program. And today we had the planetarium. So my school has a planetarium, which is so cool. And they always do at least one to two planetarium trips during the summer. And we have kids that really love it. We do have kids that have some difficulty. I mean, you are sitting in a dark room. It can be a little scary or like a sensory overload, but it's so cool because it has that like domed top and it's just, so I've seen they do they have different versions like different videos you can play they have like an aurora one that's all about the the lights in I think it's Alaska but today we did the one on black holes and I recognized the voice immediately it was Liam Nielsen Neeson yeah Liam Neeson um I got home right around 110 I um I the summer program ends at 12 45 but you know I always wrap up clean up head home um and i have been filming ever since i've already filmed like i don't know four or five videos i'm on probably like my sixth one right now i'm putting everything away i'm doing a bag haul so you guys are getting a little sneak peek of my new favorite summer bag um i'm trying to think what's going to be up first i don't know if the bag haul is going to be up first or the vlog um but keep an eye out on my tuesday thursday videos because that's my hauls and unboxing days if it's already out i'll try to link it at the bottom of this vlog um but filming days can be a lot because it's a lot of cleanup you know it's a lot of packaging i have a bunch of boxes over here now that i need to go to recycle um and i try to just knock out a bunch of filming and then just kind of clean all at once but sometimes when it's a lot of videos like today i will stop kind of in the middle um and clean a little bit because it'll get like too overwhelming with too much stuff around me and then because it was a bag haul i got a lot of these like little tell you guys all the time these little silica packs which is like super deadly for animals and i do have cats because this is i guess to re um remove moisture so like mold doesn't grow and stuff like that especially i guess because you know it's being shipped how long has it been sitting in a shipping container um how long has it been sitting at the warehouse if it rains snows when it delivers whatever so i'm gonna stop right now i have at least i could film at least four more videos i'm gonna do at least two more I'm going to stop right now, clean up, throw these things out because they always make me so, so nervous with my cats. Um, but I figured I would pop on, let you guys know what I'm doing. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so it's the last day of the week for work since Thursday is a holiday. And then I have a long four-day weekend. And I just found out Joe is off the Friday as well. I wasn't sure if his company closed, but they do. Um, so I'm hoping we do a beach day or at least a pool day at his aunt's. We shall see. Um, 
again, a lot of packaging. So yeah, you guys will follow along and obviously you'll see what we're up to. Let me know what your 4th of July plans, I was going to say are, but were when you're watching this. What did you do for the 4th? Really curious. It like downpoured here last year. So hope we're supposed to have a lot better weather this year. It's supposed to be like in the 80s. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just looking at the price of what I paid for that bag. A little on the expensive side, but well worth it. I'm definitely going to wear it all the time. But yeah, clean up time. Alrighty, guys. It is almost 5. It's like 4.30. It was perfect timing because I literally was like, be safe. You guys know that's how I always end my videos. And I think that was ever since literally my one of my very first videos right in the beginning. I started in 2020. It was, you know, the pandemic. So I ended it with be safe and I've ended every video since. Uh, but it was perfect timing. I was saying be safe and Joe was walking in. So all all of the videos I can have pre-filmed are pre-filmed. I tell you guys all the time, like, obviously the vlogs are as I'm going throughout the motions. Outfits of the week are each day. I show each outfit. Um, but, like, my unboxings and hauls, that's why I really like them. Because it helps me at least get some videos, like, out of the way. Um, that's why even some days when I'm, like... Some weeks when I'm like really having a lot to do, I'll always have at least a Tuesday, Thursday video. But anyway, Joe just walked in. He's not super hungry yet. He had a late lunch. I'm not super hungry yet because I had a later lunch because usually when I work at the school, my lunch is at 11. Joe's about to walk in. You guys are on my front door. <laughs> but hold on. Let me, he's going to interrupt. I was filming. I told him you were going to interrupt me, so it's okay. I usually uh, have lunch at... 11 because a uh, special ed always has like the first lunch um but because it's the summer program it goes till 12 30 and i don't pack a lunch i just pack a snack because we have to eat while the kids are eating so it's kind of hard especially with the room i have for the summer they do need like a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention so i just brought like a granola bar and like a clementine so i got home and was starving so i had like a later lunch at one two hours later than i usually do and i just heated up some like leftover mac and cheese so since me and Joe both had later lunches, he was like, hey, let's go for a walk. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna go for a little walk around the neighborhood. I'm slipping on my shoes. You guys are in my entryway. One day I do wanna do an entryway tour, um, but my bookshelves are a hot mess right now. And this little, but I am obsessed with these shelves, but the top of it is kind of a hot mess right now. Um, once everything is like clean, I will definitely do an entryway tour, but I have like my shoes here, my little, my coat rack here. But anyway, I just slipped on my shoes. We're going to head out the door right now, go for a little walk. And then when we come back, do dinner. We have prepped taco meat that Joe's going to make for himself. I still have more mac and cheese, and but there's not a lot left. So it won't be super filling. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up two hot dogs, cut it up and make it like a hot dog mac and cheese. No, it's not the greatest, but whatever. I'm using up my leftovers. So um yeah that is what we're doing right now um obsessed with my outfit but that'll be talked about in the outfits week i got so many compliments today and i can't link the pants because they're from that boutique and i'm pretty sure they sold out i'll double check um but yeah i felt so cute today you ready yeah. it's not too hot outside is it is it hot outside it is decent oh, okay i'll see how we go Alrighty, guys so my goal was to walk more this summer for sure didn't do too great in August because me and Joe had the big yard sale. We were prepping for the yard sale. It was a lot. Did a lot of cleaning, but it's July. It's a new month. Technically, it's the second, but whatever. Yesterday, me and him were exhausted. We got home. We both fell asleep. Took a four-hour accidental nap. That's why there isn't a lot of footage from yesterday. So, it's okay. You can start on the second. You can start any day. Um, but... I was planning on doing this already anyway, but then I saw that there was a challenge. I have done these challenges before, but usually for a reading. And it's with, I think this one is American Cancer Society. I've done it with American Cancer Society and I've done it with um, St. Jude. But basically it was a read, a read every day and you post about it on your Facebook, you have a fundraiser. I've talked about it in my videos, especially like my book related videos. And I would link the fundraiser and you could donate. And it was like, you're supporting my cause. Well, it's not even my cause. You're supporting the cause that I am, like, uh, advocating for, I guess. But um, I'm going uphill now. Whew. Um, and I have raised money for American Cancer Society and St. Jude's through Readathons, which is really cool because it's something I enjoy. Hold on. 
Alrighty, someone was coming out of their house. I didn't want to think I was a crazy lady. <laughs> Talking to myself, you know? But anyway, this time I found one that is walk a mile a day. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but for me it is. And I want to truly walk it because technically I hit my goal every day at work because I already hit 2.3 2 miles today. But I'm not counting that. Each mile has to be a separate mile that I walked either in my neighborhood or at the park or whatever. So, starting today, I was gonna do two miles to make up for it. I might, we'll see. Hello, <laughs> my boyfriend's up there. <laughs> We're going for a walk trying to get healthy. Yeah, uh, Diana showed me your house the other day. She dropped me, we went out. She dropped me off. She's like, oh, you wanna see where Justine lives? And she showed me. <laughs> we walk the block all the time, honestly. Yeah, I know they go like down like nine and around. Yep. She told me, she's like, you have no excuse to be late on the day of the wedding. <laughs> Literally. Oh, you too. Oh. Sorry, guys. Yeah, she showed me where she lives. She's like, oh, she lives right next to you. You have no excuse to be late for the wedding. So that was the maid of honor for the wedding I'm in. She lives right in my neighborhood. She saw me and Joe walking. But anyway, so I might make up and do two miles for today. If not, I'm short a mile. It's not that big of a deal. But I'm committing for the rest of the month, walking a mile a day. I'm wearing my Apple Watch dupe. I also downloaded a pedometer app on my phone. And one that specifically counts miles or something like that. Because the pedometer app counts miles, obviously. But it says I'm already at 2.3. So I'm trying to find something that's at zero. So it's a running app, but I'm not running, obviously. But I hit start when I hit the walk. And it tells you the percentage you are and you put your goal and I put one mile. So help me keep track. And this way I can post it on social media with my fundraiser so people can see I'm doing it. Same thing with the book one. I would post what book I was reading, how many pages I was in, that kind of stuff. I will link the fundraiser down below if any you want to donate. <laughs> Anything makes a difference. A dollar, two dollars. Um, they set a goal for everyone they they like each person to raise 250 i've raised more i've raised a lot less my personal goal is 50. if i at least raise 50 dollars i feel accomplished oh my god okay this uphill's a little harder so i'm gonna get off i'm a little out of breath but i want to show you guys that i'm going for my walk show you that i'm committed oh my god show you that it's hard and that's okay and talk about my fundraiser how cute is this mailbox? I love it. Alrighty guys, so I walked a block around and that is about half a mile. I checked on the thing I had, the tracker. So that works out perfectly. Walking it twice is a mile. That's exactly what I did. So I just passed the mile. Uh, it took like 40 minutes, which is pathetic, but that's okay. <laughs> At least I did it. That's all that matters. I know this isn't the healthiest dinner, but I'm, I'm proud of myself that I made that mac and cheese last two servings because I really didn't think it was going to be two servings. So, and at least I'm using up leftovers because it was mac and cheese I had purchased um, for a girl's night I did like last week, but you know, it hasn't been a week yet. It was like on Thursday night or Friday night. Um, no, it was Thursday night. Anyway um so i didn't go to waste and then just to add a little protein um because just this mac and cheese probably wouldn't fill me i chopped up two little hot dogs and threw that in here so this will be my dinner i am catching up on alexandria rodriguez she's one of my favorite youtubers she is currently pregnant so she has a lot of like pregnancy themed videos right now so i don't 100 percent relate to those but i do really like her content i think i enjoy it because she doesn't live too far from my area obviously she doesn't give her exact location like i don't but she always used to say she lived like in the boston area in massachusetts but then she moved she bought a house with her husband who was from rhode island and now she lives in rhode island and i always see a lot and you guys know i where i live borders rhode island so i see a lot of, i go into rhode island a lot and i see a lot of familiar places when she goes into when she's in rhode island and she did her baby moon and she went to Martha's Vineyard. So that was cool to see. Sometimes she'll put the info for the hotel. I got to look at her description box. Because maybe that's something me and Joe could do in August. Instead of always doing Hampton Beach. Depends on the cost, you know. Hampton Beach is a really cheap trip. Um, 
I mean, it's not cheap, but it's like cheap for trap, co you know, compared to other places for travel. Um, so we'll see. But um, I have I haven't watched like her last four videos. I haven't watched any videos for like two weeks. Um, I haven't honestly been watching much YouTube. You guys know if you're watching if my vlogs, obviously, um, it was a lot of like prepping for the yacht sale, cleaning for the yacht sale, and when we did have our downtime, me and Joe were watching Monk. Um, and we finally finished it and it was incredible. When did we finish it? Sunday? Yeah, because I don't think I got on the vlog because I tell you guys how I don't film much on Sundays because it's like family day. So I had gone to my mom's for our usual lunch and then we got back home and we had two episodes left. And I'm not spoiling anything. I assumed, I think it's an easy assumption to make that he's going to solve his wife's murder finally. Because that is like the background of the show. Like, you know, in the show, each episode he's, saving, he's solving a different murder. But you know that his wife died from a car bomb. And like certain episodes is more themed towards his wife. Um, so you figure by the end he is. And he, he does. I'm not going to say how he does it. But he solves his wife's murder. But it ends up being like a huge twist that I don't see coming. And then they actually made Monk the movie in 2023. And it says Monk's Last Case. So we finished the series we watched part one and part two of the series finale and then we watched the movie and then that we went to bed so we me and joe have to start a new series but right now i'm just watching youtube since he's in the shower and i'm going to catch up on alexandria's videos while i eat dinner i figured i would show her in case anyone was curious but this is her and like i said yeah it is a lot of like baby stuff right now but it makes sense with the phase of life she's in i'm kind of curious to see like once the baby's born it's obviously going to be more mom content. And I'm wondering, I'm not saying I'm 100% oh, oh, going to stop watching her. I just wonder if I will watch her because I don't relate to her as much. I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't watch like family channels or mom channels because it's just not something I relate to. Um, but I do like her as a person. So I might. We shall see. I watched Shara Ray for a really long time and her vlogs and obviously they are centered around her kids but it's not just her kids so i do enjoy it and so i'm sure she'll do more things obviously she does a lot of plus size fashion and hauls and stuff too so we shall see but i'm gonna chow down now because i am hungry i think that walk activated my hunger for sure and it is much later now it's like seven now i didn't get on right away because i was like a sweaty hot mess i was just kind of laying on the couch relaxing for like an hour Oh, but anyway, back to dinner. Alrighty, guys. So this is the next day. I literally left work and went straight to that boutique with a coworker of mine who's always complimenting my clothes. I mentioned they were having a big sale and that I was going after work and she asked if she could tag along. So this is the Wednesday before 4th of July, which means I have a four day weekend. And this was the perfect way to start my weekend because I loved everything on. I left there feeling absolutely incredible. I scored great deals. You're going to see a whole haul of it right in the car right after this clip. All right, guys, I have my AC on, so it's definitely going to be a little loud. But I went to that boutique I'm obsessed with. She was having a sale. And I had to participate. And it was a fill-a-bag sale. So you could fill the small bag, and I think in here was $35. And then you could fill a large bag, and anything in here was $80. So clearly I got one big, one small. I bought the net, it was only from four specific racks and then I purchased two of her new items for regular price but she does a deal if you use a um, reusable tote bag you get five percent off if you use her reusable tote bag um so I definitely have something to show you guys when I get home heading home now it is like I have no idea I should check my phone but I left work at two even though I'm done at 12 45 I was like getting stuff ready for next week so I didn't leave work till two and then I've definitely been here at least an hour, if not an hour and a half. So it has to be like 3.30, 4 o'clock. So I can, I'm gonna head home and I guess start figuring out dinner for me and Joe. Um, we forgot to cancel HelloFresh on Saturday. So we are gonna get a HelloFresh delivery. It's supposed to be tomorrow on Thursday and we have like no room in our fridge. So I definitely have to cook up some stuff. But because of 4th of July, it might be Friday. So we'll see. I actually have to track that. It might work out my favor if it comes Friday. Let me track it right now, actually. Let me look at my phone. So I hit the nail on the head. It's 3.20. I had said 3.30, 4 o'clock. So I'll be home. It'll be 3.30 because it's not far from where I live. 
Um, and my HelloFresh says shipping soon. It doesn't say arriving tomorrow. So that must mean that it's probably going to be Friday. They're probably, actually, they can't ship it tomorrow either, right? Because it's a holiday. That might work out in my favor, though, honestly. I got to use up some stuff in my fridge. So I'm going to go home and figure out dinner for today. And I will definitely show you guys the stuff I bought. I just parked. I thought, why not make it a car haul? I have seen so many people do those on YouTube, and I know they're pretty popular. Um, I know, obviously, my steering wheel's on in the way a little bit, but I think I'm going to do another haul of me actually wearing it, and that you'll see it even better. This is just to so get an idea of, like, the beautiful prints and stuff like that. So, this only was one thing. I had told myself that I wasn't even going to bother with a small bag, that I would, if, you know, I had a lot of things, I'd be willing to do two big bags, or if not, eliminate and just do one big bag, but guys, I was obsessed, there was no way I was not going to get this, so she has had this since the store, like, first opened, this was literally the last one on the rack, I never bother trying it on, because it only goes up to a size large, you guys know I love the black and white checkered print, but I figured there's no way that's going to fit with me, but, because of the sale and I said well I need to stuff a bag right so like I, I was like what if the bag's a little short stuff might as well try it you never know especially because it's cropped and it doesn't have to hit my hips I tell you guys all the time I am very wide is on the bottom my hips my thighs my butt I'm actually like on the smaller side on top I'm not very big chested compared to most plus plus people I don't have really big arms compared to most plus size people and guys it fit amazingly incredibly i wish it was cold out so i could wear this maybe on a summer night if i buy the water for sure because i have to wear this soon i absolutely loved it you guys saw a clip of me trying it on and i'm sure you saw the smile on my face but yeah it's just this black and white checkered print and it sits beautifully on right before my hips it looks so good on me so it was worth it just to fill a small bag for this i had asked the girl because i was debating on buying it separately because if it wasn't enough to fill a bag they were doing 15 percent off but when she did the math she said it was still going to be 40 dollars. it wasn't so who i enjoy um getting um conversation with and cashing out it's actually her birthday today that's why she did the sale she said it was to celebrate her birthday and because she was going to be closed all week because Thursday, St. Uh, St. I was going to say St. Patrick's Day. Oh, my God. Thursday of 12th of July. And then, you know, the long weekend. So, she is actually not opening her shop. This, this was the only day it was open this week for this sale. Um, so, I don't know if the girl was wrong. Whatever. Either way, it wouldn't have been that much of a big difference from the $35. So, I just filled the small bag with this because there was no way I was not going to leave the store with it. You guys saw the smile on my face. Now, the big bag. Oh, my God. I cannot believe what a good score this was. So the big bag was 80. If you guys can see that, yeah, $80. Guys, there's three things in here. And the two biggest things were $55 when they were regular price. So that right there is 110. So right there I saved $30 plus whatever the cost of the third item was. Guys, this jacket, I tried this on. If you guys watch all my vlogs, I tried this on when it first came out in the 3X, but for $55, I didn't love it. Did I really, 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 really like it? Yes. But I couldn't button it. But it fit in my arms, because I went with another friend who's plus size, and it didn't fit in her arms. But this does fit on my arms and everything. I just couldn't button it. So I was like, uh because it's not as versatile not that i button my jean jackets often but i said for 55 dollars and it doesn't really fit me the right way i'm not gonna get it but for the filler bag sale and i wear my jean jackets opened anyway it was perfect i'm so glad i waited because if i had got it full price i mean i wouldn't have been mad but it was but it, it maybe would have been a little mad seeing it on the rack for such a good deal um that the cardigan i bought was on the rack so it is what it is i made full price i paid 55 dollars for that cardigan my friend put it in the small bag and paid 35 uh, But anyway, it is just a standard jean jacket, but what makes it cool is the checkered print on the front and the shoulders. I am obsessed. You guys know what a jean jacket is, but literally that's the only difference is it has the checkered print in the back and then it has the checkered print in the front. It's not on the sleeves. Oh, it actually is on the sleeve, but in the back going down on a stripe so yes so this was regularly $54 I can even show you guys the tag 
as you guys can see, but it has the red mark because it was part of the filler bag. And then the other jean jacket, I think this one might have been 50 something too, regular price. I don't know if the tag is going to say it, but it's just a standard pink jean jacket. Yeah, 54. So these two things would have been $108. Um, it's just a standard, same thing. It fits me fine, open. I just can't button it. And it's just a like a faded vintage pink jean jacket. But it has a raw hem, which I really like. It even has a raw hem like on the shoulders, on the arms, on the pockets. But for the sale, I had to have it. I will definitely wear it open. Super duper cute. And then there was still room in the bag. And this thing is slinky and, you know, compact. And this was regularly $38. So if, I'm just going to round this up to 40. I'm going to round that up to 110. This haul, not, not, not the sweater, but this and the two jean jackets would have been $150. And I paid 80. I paid almost half price. What a good deal. I saved 70 bucks. And this is a really cute green slinky dress. I'm just, it has like the cute, you guys see the cut. What do they call that? I think cut no oh my god it's like on the tip of my tongue but it's not coming to me but i love that neckline where it like scoops in the front and has the extra fabric there's a word for it, but it's not coming to me i will say it is a little clingy uh it's again full price i'm not sure if it's something i would have got but for um this i was willing I think I would 100% rock this. I would just need the right Spanx and biker shorts. And it does have like a slight slit on the side. I love the color. I do kind of wish it came in black though, just because it would have concealed a little bit more. But I will rock this. And you know what I was telling my friend? This doesn't, it's not maxi. It's like a few inches above my ankle. If I put a maxi skirt over this, like a black maxi skirt, then I, because it has the scoop I love it's really bothering me that I can't think of what that's called right now but I could even almost wear it as like a tank top you know what I mean with like a maxi skirt over it so yes so that's what I got in the large bag and then and then the only criteria was I had to staple I had to staple on each side which I don't blame her because people would be filling that up like crazy then oh my god these two things I fell in love with this skirt and this one actually came in 4x you guys know that's usually what I get at Target Old Navy um, this boutique only goes up to 3x most of the time but once in a blue moon I will find a random 4x item because this one is the Reb Doll brand and I find the Reb Doll brand is very very forgiving I have a lot of things from this boutique by Reb Doll um, and it says right here 4x is a 26 28 and I'm usually a 26, 28, so it's like perfect. But their three X's have fit me. This has a lot of, a lot of stretch. As you guys, look at this. As you guys can see, I will say it is very long. I had it almost under my boobs with this shirt over it. You guys probably saw it in that clip. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it because it's like kind of an off orange. It didn't look awful trying it on. And it like skims the top of my feet as if it's right under my boobs. So this and a little sandal will be perfect for the summer. And how gorgeous is this like tropical print, Hawaiian print for the summer? Yes. And then the other thing that was regular price, but you know, I, I got my 5% was this jumper. It's going to be hard to see on camera. It's just a black jumper. It, this is definitely something that's going to look better on my body. It is this rib knit material, as you guys can see. Super stretchy, super comfortable. What made me fall in love with it, guys, I have one in, the, in my Amazon cart right now, very similar to this, is it has a corset style in the front. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Like, see that line? It, like, goes in under the boobs, and that's what they call it. It's not an actual corset. It's super comfortable, super stretchy, but it resembles a corset, and it just nips me at my perfect part my smallest area my waist and then it just flows away there's it doesn't exaggerate my belly at all it because some jumpers will do that this just flows away it's so so nice and this gorgeous black and this one skims right at the top of my feet as well i wore my sandals in the dressing room and i loved it you guys saw this in a try on clip and guys the so one of my amazon cart was like i think 30 something dollars and this one oh, this, i wonder what name brand it is 
but this one was $36. So literally the same price as the one on my Amazon card. I was curious, no no name brand. I almost wanted to ask, maybe I should, well, almost wanted to ask, but she wasn't there. Um, and I don't think that girl would've known, but I, maybe I'll ask her because the one in my Amazon cart was the cider brand. Um, and I had been wanting to try some clothes from them. Um, I get ads to them all the time online, but it says they only go up to a size, I think it's 26. Yeah, 3X is a size 26. Um, and I'm usually a 28, so I didn't want to risk buying it and then having to ship it back and pay for postage. So I've never ordered from them. But if this is, because it looks exactly, literally like the one I have my Amazon cart. If this is that cider one, then then I know the 3X fits me. If as long as it's like a stretchy material like this. But I am pumped. Um, I haven't. I just checked the last time I went shopped in her store, and it was June 6th because that was the last time I got a receipt. From her like you get it i get a text receipt so when i got the text for this one all my texts were from her and i was able to see the last one was june 6th and that one was literally only a five dollar order it's the pants i'm literally wearing right now i modeled for her and she gave me like a i think it was a 40 dollar credit and the pants i'm wearing right now is like 36 and then i bought like a five dollar bookmark or something like that so i only ended up owing her like five dollars or something like that so and before that probably the last time i shopped was may you guys know she opened in march i was showing you guys holds almost every single week because i was obsessed with this store but i definitely slowed down because as much as i love the store i do own a lot of clothes and i really do have to i'm really trying to be more my, mindful of my shopping but because of this sale and the, and i am being picky i have to like really love the item because that you saw i didn't get these two jean jackets when they were regular price but i don't want to expense myself i think i lost some weight so that could be why it fit me a little better too um but i do um what did I, I wore a pair of pants yesterday that used to be a little snugger on me that weren't as snug um and i have been trying to eat better and walking more in the summer so it's definitely possible but anyway so um i was but because of the sale i definitely took advantage um, and I feel incredible in all these items. Like literally, I'm obsessed with this jumper. I'm obsessed with a checkered sweater. I'm obsessed with a Hawaiian skirt. The green dress I love. I just need to get good. I just want to make sure I wear it with Spanx. And the two jackets are going to be a really nice layering piece for the summer, for the fall. I'm really excited. And that jean jacket is so unique. The checkered jean jacket. I've never seen that anywhere. Even the pink vintage, you don't really see that. And that's what I love about the store. It's such unique finds. And I went with a friend. It was really fun. Um, it was a girl I work with and she's always complimented my clothes and I told her she was having a sale and I was going right after work on Wednesday and she's like, can I join you? And I said, yeah, of course. So, um, and I'm actually, guys, I have plans with a new person next week. So you guys know I go to a lot of those craft fairs. There's one girl in particular I buy from our business a lot. She does resin crafts and they're beautiful. I have bought in like bookends with dried flowers inside from her. I've bought in like little trinket trays. I bought in skulls filled with flowers from her. I've I bought in things to give as gifts. Um, I just saw her at the last craft event. She ended up finding me on Facebook and I, I added her, but she found me and messaged me and then I added her. Um, and we actually have plans to do lunch. She's actually a teacher, so she's off summers. She is working the summer program just like me. We get out at the same time. She works at a different school. And we are gonna meet up and do lunch at a cafe. So um, if you watched my vlog a few weeks ago, I have really been struggling, struggling in the friend department. So it brought me a lot of joy um, today, um, hanging out with a friend and then even again next week, I'm gonna, and this person I've never hung out with outside of work, it was a, you know, it's a, she, she had, she's a, you know, like you say, you work friends, we don't really see outside of work. So I'm hoping there'll be more of that. We shall see. And I'm really excited for my lunch next week. So things are definitely turning around. Now, let me go bring this all inside. <laughs> Alrighty guys, you know the part where I said I was gonna figure out dinner? Well, I didn't. Right. I got home and I, I honestly should have gone straight in the kitchen because that's what I did yesterday. And yesterday was such a productive day because I ate early, then me and Joe went for a walk and I felt really good. But today, I came straight on the couch, I laid down and I fell asleep. Um, I was, cause Joe, I had ended up calling Joe and Joe was like an hour away. So I was like, oh, I might as well wait till Joe gets home. Cause I, I do prefer cooking with Joe. So I was just like, I'll wait. And then I ended up falling asleep. But I will say I only took like a two hour nap and I felt refreshed versus when I take like the four hour naps. I wake up like so groggy 
and it throws off my sleep pattern the two hour seems to be perfect i know they say like power nap should be like an hour but whatever so i only slept two hours it wasn't too bad then i woke up showered put on pajamas me and joe were just chilling on the couch talking about our fourth of july plans and just life and then we were about to go in the kitchen and just make some kind of pasta dish it's like 9 p.m and uh but then he like i'm itching to go out he's itching to go out it's a four-day weekend and i was like well we could go out to eat and it just kind of sucks because we don't want to spend money on food because we have food at home we just did that big aldi's haul but it's also like there's limited things you can do out at night in this area so but we're gonna go i think you guys saw it last vlog or two vlogs ago there is a place near us that has a late night menu and it is on the cheaper side um it's only pizza salads and dessert that they do after 9 p.m and their pizzas are they range like between like 15 and 20 dollars and then me and joe split it so the bill doesn't come out bad um i will say they're on the smaller side that's why i had to get a salad to go with it last time so i'm debating on doing that again or we each get our own pizza i would say we do look at it okay but even that if we each get our own pizza and we don't get an alcoholic drink it's like 30 bucks and then obviously tax tip all those things so i think that's what we're gonna do and then i went on the website just to double check because i wasn't sure if the late night menu was during the week and if it was just on the weekends but it is during the week and on wednesdays they have karaoke so we're actually gonna check out the karaoke over there i think their karaoke is outside on the patio so that'll be fun um we well you you, love, you made me lose my train of thought sorry joe came in my area over here what was i gonna say uh we are not going to karaoke tomorrow the place that we usually go to on thursdays closed. is closed because of fourth of july so this will be our karaoke like session for the week um so it'll be a new space different people i might not enjoy it as much if i'm being honest with y'all because i just like the environment at the other one a lot and i love the people but either way i'm gonna eat some good food and i can just like watch joe sing w who knows you might not even get to sing because sometimes if it's or he'll maybe sing only one song versus like he usually sings like 10 because if it's like a super duper popular spot i don't know what to expect sometimes you get on the queue they call it and it's like the queue's like two hours because like 30 people signed up so he only gets to sing like one song that's why i really like the one we usually go to it's a smaller setting it's more intimate we all know we know everybody that's there but anyway we're gonna try it out either way i'm gonna get some good food so i am going to take off these pajamas i'm actually gonna throw on i think the black jumper from soph because i am dying to wear it and then what i'll do is i'm gonna do the black and white sweater over it for my arms because once when we're outside i'm sure i'm gonna be a little chilly and then if we or we might eat inside first then go outside i'm not sure yet but if we go inside i could take off the sweater and i'll have the cute jumper so i will pop on to show you guys or actually i should do it as my outfits of the week i don't know we'll see we'll see july i am in the middle of making dessert my mom is gonna have a little cookout and it's actually really exciting today because she invited joe's parents they have met before and they've hung out before but this is the first time with my brother will be there with my sister-in-law and the baby and um this is the first time we're like all gonna be together because my his parents and my parents have hung out but without us there and the other times we've been there it's been like you know for sad things like funerals or stuff like that so this is the first time like we're all all gonna be together my mom never does dessert since she's keto and is trying to be good so she asked if i would make something which was perfect which was what i kind of figured that's why when we went to all these i bought that white cake mix so i'm literally cooking up the cake mixing up the cake mix now 
and I'm gonna do a trifle. I looked up a recipe and I'm gonna do it with pudding, uh, cut up cake, fresh fruit. I don't have blueberries sadly, but I have strawberries and blackberries. So it still has that blue tint to it, it'll be fine. Um, I'm not gonna film it because I'm a hot mess when I'm cooking. I already have like stuff all over my fingers. Uh, but I will show you guys the finished product. You have to use egg whites to keep the cake white. So I told y'all, there's no wasting in this house. So I gave him the five egg yellows, and he's mixing it now to make a breakfast for himself. Uh, yep. And then I'm going to just have like a quick granola box. It's not for a few hours. So obviously hungry. But anyway, figured I'd fill you guys in. Alrighty, the cake mix is in the oven. This is the pudding mix. I still have to mix it. That's just the milk with the pudding at the bottom. Cutting board. This is the washed strawberries. I'm gonna cut off the tops and cut them in half. I think that'll be enough, but I left, this is a carton and a half. I have the half carton here in case I need it. And then we got the blackberries we'll wash at the end when we're doing the layering. I figured I would just prep the strawberries and the pudding while that's in the oven. All right, so we're not doing too bad on time. It's like five minutes to one. My mom's having us over for 2.30. I just took the cake out of the oven. Well, I shouldn't say just took it out. I probably took it out like 10 minutes ago. Now I just cut it all up so that way it can cool down faster. The cut, the fruit is all cut up waiting here in a bowl. The pudding is all mixed waiting here in a bowl. The only thing is I don't have a really a cute trifle bowl, but it is what it is. My first time like making one. I have do I do have this like huge cute glass like pitcher. This is actually a pampered chef find. Um, I have two of these. My mom gave me one as like a housewarming gift, and then Joe's mom gave me one as a housewarming gift. What a coincidence, huh? Um, and it looks like a basically a huge measuring cup. Yeah, it says it's, but it's like the huger version. It's, this thing holds eight cups. Oh my God, yeah, eight cups or two quarts. So I'm gonna do the layers in here. I'm just gonna let the cake cool down now that it's cut. I'm literally just gonna throw on, I think, shorts and biker shorts. Uh, sh shorts and biker shorts, oh my God. Biker shorts, and I bought a themed 4th of July t-shirt from Amazon. So it won't take me too long to get dressed. I'll just comb up my hair in a bun. I mean, we're going to be outside in the yard. Um, I even told you, I was like, I'm not going to shower before we go because we're going to go sit in a, in a yard to sweat, shower when we get back. So I'm glad we got up earlier and prepped everything. We are going to run into the grocery store nearby here just to see if they happen to have a watermelon. Just to have an extra little dessert. If not, it's okay. Not that that's a dessert, but it's like a sweet thing, you know, after dinner treat. Uh, because my, my mom might eat this. I'm not sure, but, you know, she's trying to limit her carbs and obviously this has cake and sugar i think actually i use sugar-free pudding now that i think about it but obviously the cake has carbs uh but anyway let me flip over just so you guys can see my little prepared section here there we go we got all the cake all cut up we got our bowl with our blackberries and strawberries the blackberries were huge so i ended up cutting the blackberries in half too we got the pudding all mixed my pampered chef cup and then we have the whipped toppings. I took out three, let them thaw. I don't think I'll use all three, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I can always go back in the fridge after. I feel like I'm like, you guys probably think I'm sponsored by Aldi's or something, but not that, look, market basket. <laughs> if it was a sponsorship, they would not allow me to use another label. I'm assuming, I've never been sponsored, but I know they're very picky. But it looks like uh, Aldi's ad because of the Aldi's bag in the background. But um. Yes, so we're almost on the last step now. Alrighty, so I was just looking up the layers of the trifle. It recommends the cake going at the bottom, which makes sense because it can s take all that stuff that's soaked in there. I know you guys are getting a weird view of me. I apologize. Um, I figure I'd rather do this in my pajamas so if I get dirty, I don't have to worry about anything. And I do tend to dirty myself up. So I'm going to start layering this. So we're going to do cake cubes at the bottom. So it says to do cake cubes, pudding, fruit, whipped cream. They actually did the like strawberries and blueberries separately. Um, cause then it says do a, and I just chopped up the strawberry. It actually said to do slice probably. So it's like more of a design, but that's okay. Cutting them up into small bits. It's easier to eat. And I just mix the strawberries and blueberries, uh, blackberries together. So no big deal. I'm just cutting the cake pieces into smaller chunks as I put it into the bowl. Cause I just kind of did like a rough quick chop for them to cool down. So they were kind of like big chunks, but it's definitely not as hot as it was. Probably a little on the warm side, but it's a-okay. All right, so that's the cake layer. You guys are gonna see it obviously as it builds up. 
All right. Oh, I need a spatula for the pudding layer. Joe, he said he wanted to wash up quick. So that's where he's what he's doing right now. Okay, so I got my pudding right here on the side of me. And I did, I looked it up because I'm like, vanilla pudding is like kind of yellow. So I was like, I wonder what pudding they use. But I'm t I had to use whatever was in my pantry because I was not going to the store. Like I said, I bought the white cake mix and the fruits at all these on the weekend. Was it Saturday or Sunday? I don't even remember. So I was like, well, let's see. If I only have vanilla pudding, then I only have vanilla pudding. But it worked out because what they use, it says is white chocolate. And I was like, that's smart because it's white. I was like, but I was like, I don't, I don't think I have white chocolate. I might have cheesecake pudding. Well, you need two boxes. And I had one white chocolate and one cheesecake. So I told Joe, I'm like, shit, is that going to be like a weird combo? And he was like, no, cheesecake's kind of neutral. Cheesecake goes with everything. It's true. They do strawberry cheesecake. They do chocolate cheesecake. So that's what I ended up doing. And I think it tastes good. So there you go. We got our cake layer, our pudding layer, our fruit layer. I actually have another measuring cup. I said that to you guys. That's right. Because my mom got me one and Joe's mom got me one. And I'm feeling like this is going to fill up really quickly. And I feel like I'm still going to have a lot of pudding and a lot of fruit. So maybe I can do two. But we'll see. Because it is small at the bottom and it's going to get bigger. So it might take more as I go. Okay, so now I'm doing the Cool Whip layer. And the Cool Whip I already had too, obviously. I always have Cool Whip in my fridge, usually. I like putting a little on my coffee or having a little with my fresh fruit. It's a nice way to make it feel like more decadent without adding like a ton of calories, especially if you use the light one, which that's what this one is. That's why if you notice the container is like a light blue. Let me show you guys right there. Kind of like a teal instead of being like the tr standard like blue like deep blue and i think it's because it's the light or it could just be this brand who knows all right so that is one full official foot official layer so now we're gonna do more cake pieces did i mention i don't even know i'm sorry guys it's kind of hard sometimes because i don't know what i mentioned the vlog or not so sometimes i feel like i'm repeating myself but my mom invited um Joe's mom and stepdad. So um, they have met. I mean, me and Joe have been together seven years, but uh, well, it'll be seven years in August. Um, but it's been mo mostly like for sad events, like funerals. Like when my grandmother died, they went. When my grandfather died, they went. Um, what was I going to say? And my mom has been to her house like once when they first got the house. They Because they got a house last year or two years ago. I don't even remember. Um, but they invited my parents over, but that was like without me and Joe. This is the first time we're all hanging out like together for a, an event verse, you know, instead of like a funeral. Um, and it's the first time, like I said, they have technically met my brother and sister-in-law at the funeral. My sister-in-law, I want to say, was actually pregnant when my, when my grandmother died and she even like wished her congrats and everything. But this is the first time. They're going to like t meet me, like really meet, you know what I mean? And this is the first time they're going to see my baby nephew. So, and Anna loves kids. She's, I know she wants to be a Vavo so bad, which Vavo is grandmother in Portuguese. All right. So we did another pudding layer. I'm going to do another fruit layer. You all washed up. You getting dressed now? All right. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to just put my hair in a bun and get dressed. And maybe we can, like I said, we'll go, go by the grocery store. We'll pick up that watermelon and we can just get to my mom's a little early and not rush, which is nice because we're usually rushing. All right, fruit layer. I feel like you're not seeing the fruit, which is supposed to be the cute part. I'm trying to like make it go to the edges. Like, see that first layer, I feel like you don't see any fruit, but I don't know. I feel like as we put things on, it kind of compresses it. But anyway, okay, fruit layer. Oh yeah. Joe, what? I can make two of these. Wow. Well, yeah, don't we have another one? Because your mom gave me one and my mom gave me I one. Don't know where the second one is, it's not on the top shelf near this one, where this uh, one was. Not, no, I'll look. What are you doing? All right. 
cool with Leia? I know I have two. It's just finding the other one. I would assume I would have put them together on the shelf. Joe's going to look. It's in the lower cabinet, so I have a hard time getting to them. I mean, I would do it if I had no choice, but since he's here. All right, Cool Whip. All right, now we're going to do more cake again. No, I have a hard time bending down. Get When it's to get to the lower half, I'm fine. To get to the upper half, I have a hard time. It's like you have to like bend weird to look at. It's like you're still low, but yeah, it's a little higher. It's hard to see because it's more inset. The top, that top shelf under the cabinets but yeah I was like I was saying that I was like wow I think this could honestly make two I still have plenty of fruit I still have plenty of pudding the cake I'm like I have like half the cake left so I honestly could could make two so this is good to know for next time because next year if like Joe's mom and my mom do something separately I was kind of shocked because Joe's mom usually does do something she did something big for 4th of July last year, but then it rained out on her. I felt bad, but she didn't end up doing anything this year. I think because the people she usually has over, like outside of the family, some of them went away on vacation. But if they do something separate next year, then I know that I could do this and it would make two. I wasn't going to do two cup boxes of pudding. I was only going to do one, but it said to do two. And I feel like I have a ton of pudding, but that's actually fine. I love pudding. <laughs> So I don't mind having extra pudding. I don't mind having extra pudding in the fridge. It's a nice low fat snack. Is it in there? Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to make two of these. Too bad we don't have two separate houses to go to this time. <laughs> I didn't realize this would make twice. Could be because we're not using like the traditional trifle container too. I don't know. All right. So. It's not looking too cute on the outside, but you know what? As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. Okay, another fruit layer. And we're improvising because what we what we got. I'm not going to buy like another trifle container. If it was something I did all the time, I guess, but I don't do this all the time. This did take a lot of steps. Like you're prepping all this fruit, then you got to make the cake. All right, this should probably be the last layer. I'll just do, you know, obviously a layer Cool Whip on top. Because I'm at the top of the container already. And that used up one container Cool Whip just about. What's left in here will probably cover the top. Actually, I might need to open the next container. Which is fine. I got three of them, so I got plenty. Let's open the next one. And then that is a whole finished trifle. And then these containers are honestly perfect because it has a handle, it's easy, easy to travel, and it has the top. I don't think I have a lot of Pampered Chef items. I know people swear by them. You guys can let me know your opinion on Pampered Chef. I know a few people have had parties, but their stuff is expensive. And don't get me wrong, I know it lasts long. Um, I know people who like literally swear by Pampered Chef and they have older Pampered Chef and they're still obsessed with it. But I am really happy with this item, I'll say. I don't know if it's something that's still available through Pampered Chef. Uh, can you buy Pampered Chef without having a party? Like, can you go on PamperedChef.com? I'm curious to look that up. I, I, I don't like buying from companies where you have to purchase from someone. I don't know. I just have like icky feelings about it. And you know, you could feel how you feel. I don't know if that's considered a multi-level marketing company. But, you know, you know, you guys know if you don't know, if you're going to do tons of research on MLMs, that's the short abbreviation for it. I'm not a huge fan because I feel like the only people that make the real money are the people at the top. And then all these little people that are trying to make extra money, half the time end up really not working in their favor. They have a, a bunch of stock. They have to, like, push so much and message people. And it's just not my style. I hate when I get, like, people messaging me trying for me to buy something from them and because I like feel pressure and like you know I hate saying no but it's like I also like you know gotta worry about my money I like to support small businesses but that's not that's a totally different thing you know what I mean because you are supporting that person in particular if you buy from them but you're also supporting this big multi-level business and the president or the people at the top are the ones making the real money all right so that is one let's put the cover on Boom, look at that. My trifle is ready to go. Oh, it looks kind of cute from the outside, not bad. All right, so that's one. 
All right, I don't think you guys need to be here for the second one. It's gonna be the same exact thing. But let me know what you're doing or what you did, because I know you guys seen this obviously after 4th of July. Let me know what you did for your 4th of July plans. So that half carton of strawberries I saved ended up coming in handy because I sliced what was left and put it as decoration on the top of both of them. So yeah, if you do one whole cake, two boxes of pudding mix, three containers of Cool Whip, I can't keep track of the fruit. It was, so I ended up being two cartons of strawberries, two cartons of blackberries. Of course, the cartons of blackberries are a lot smaller, but it made two trifles. It is on me. I feel weird talking sometimes when it's like pointed to an object. It is 128. So it took me about 25 minutes to assemble these. I am going right now to use the bathroom, put my hair in a bun, get dressed, and we're going to hit the road. Um, like I said, my mom said 233. So we'll definitely got time to run to the grocery store, see if there's a watermelon, get to my mom's, put these bad boys in her fridge, and get there early. Alrighty guys, hair is in a bun. The bun's a little lopsided, but I'm not gonna stress it because whatever. I keep like trying to fix it and it just keeps going bloop. Um, I use the hair slick, the hair wax that came in the Fab Fit Fun box. I will say my hair looked gray when I first put it on, but then I kind of like zhushed it in and combed it up and it was fine. I will say, I don't like the way it makes my hair feel. I've said that before. Um, but if you're someone who washes your hair every day, it's fine because when you get home, you take the take the bun out, jump in the shower, wash your hair. I don't wash my hair every day. So I can't use that wax stick too often. Well, I can't use it when I know I'm not gonna wash my hair. But tomorrow, me and Joey are either gonna do like a pool day or a beach day, we haven't decided yet. So I don't care if my hair is kinda gross, cause it's gonna get gross anyway. And then I'll wash it when I get home to get rid of that waxy buildup. But um, throwing on clothes, heading out the door. I got my Old Navy active wear shorts. Um, these are just like the leggings that I show you guys in the outfits of the week. They just cut at the knee or a little above the knee, but same thing, it has the double pockets. It's that nice, stretchy, active wear material. And then this is the shirt that I got from uh, Amazon. And it says, just here for the wieners. Love it. I think I did get it in the 6X, I did. I might just wear it as is, I might tie it up. We'll see, you guys will see in the outfits of the week. Um, there was a bunch, it had some that was specifically like 4th of July, said God bless America. Um, there, there was a bunch. Um, you make me want a hot dog real bad, you know, from Legally Blonde. But I thought this one I could use all summer. Because even though obviously it has touches of 4th of July with the stars and stuff, I could wear this to any barbecue and it fits. Because it's I'm just here for the wieners. And, he's, and I love that the hot dog's holding a beer or something. So I went with this one. So that way I didn't just scream 4th of July and only wear it once. But yeah, gonna get dressed and hit the road. Next time you guys see me, probably the barbecue. I'm not gonna film because I gotta tell you guys it's family time. But maybe I'll film like just the table. You guys can see like all the goodies, all the food. I don't know why I went like that. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys ate for July. Did you do a barbecue? Did you go out to eat? All the good things down below in the comments. Baba. 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 Right from my mom's, we went straight to the fireworks that they have in my city. How cute is this girl's bag? I'm obsessed with it. It's like one of those lounge fly Disney bags, but it has its own fireworks. But anyway, get ready to see some beautiful fireworks. I hope you guys all had a beautiful 4th of July.
guys, we are heading home. Alrighty guys, it is Friday. Our plan was to go to either the pool or the beach, but we woke up closer to 11 o'clock and the beach gets so crowded. We, you thinking, I'm thinking, this is what I was thinking. I didn't even tell you what I was thinking. Maybe we can still do the beach after five, so it's free. I don't know. We'll see. It's actually not that hot again. I think it rained overnight, so it cooled down again. It's only 75, so I'm actually wearing one of my little sweatshirts. Um, we would have done the pool still, but Joe's aunt has company from out of state, so she had said sorry, but for us to go a different day. So we're just going to do some errands. I do need to go. I want to go to a local donation center near us because I got a coupon for 30% off books. So I want to check out their used book section. Um, we're going to a cafe first near us. It's been open like for a year about over a year, year and a half. And me and Joe have never gone because their hours aren't the greatest. It's 8 to 2, Monday to Saturday. They're off Sundays. So we're finally going to make some time to go today. I follow them on social media and their food always looks so, so good. Um, I guess you guys will tag along for the ride. Alrighty guys, I never pop back on for the rest of the day. It started raining here. So even if we were able to go to the pool, it wasn't going to work out. So we never ended up going to the beach either, obviously. Really bummed because I feel like, you know, me and Joe obviously have limited days off together. We have the Saturday and Sundays, obviously, which is good. But a lot of times we have commitments. Like we go to my mom's every other Sunday for lunch. Tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to a barbecue at his mom's house. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy time with his family. I enjoy time with my family. But sometimes I like one-on-one -on -one time, just us. So it was nice having the extra Friday. But it ended up being a wash. I really wanted to just be outside. It's summer, you know. There was a movie we could have done, but I was like, I don't want to be in a movie theater. I was like, whatever. Clearly, the day's a wash. Let's just go home. So we came home, and we were already kind of blah. We did end up doing um the thrift store run. I got I meant to show you clips of me in the book aisles, but it was packed, guys. And I think because a lot of people got that 30% off coupon. On top of, in the store, all the books were buy three, get one free. So the books were a really good deal. And because it was packed, I hate pulling out my phone. But we were in there like literally an hour and a half, almost two hours. Um, I'm going to do it as a separate thrift haul on my channel. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in my random haul playlist. But we literally got home and we did dinner. We took a nap because we were both like tired. The rain and the heat got to us. Um, it was like because the rain and it was like hot. It wasn't like hot, hot. I told you guys, I think it was like not even 80 today. It was like 75, 78. But with the rain and the humidity here, it was very like muggy. My clothes felt like it was sticking to me. It was gross. So we took a little nap. Woke up from the nap. And we've been going through all our holiday decor. I'm trying to condense the holiday decor and organize it better. Because every year we always kind of just throw things in boxes. So we already made a box that is Christmas for the kitchen. So it's mostly like mugs, cups, my tea, my tea tray decor. Because that's what my tea tray is. Um, cookie cutters, things like that. We made a box that is literally just trees. Like, I have a box that's mini trees and then a box that's, like, regular trees. Um, now I'm going through. He just pulled up another box. So I'm going through these. We're going to do organized Christmas boxes. And then a lot of my Halloween and ha ha fall is mixed. So I'm going to try to make it, like, strict fall box, strict Halloween boxes. And then we are moving them into the basement. We are able to store some stuff in the shed, but definitely not as much as we could. When he redid the shelves, he uh, the shelves. When he redid the shed, my landlord, he asked us to only put the decor on the shelves, and the shelves definitely don't hold all my decor. So I actually do. Ha um, that's why I'm also going through it too. I might declutter some. I might sell some of my next yard sale. We shall see. But I do have a very small space in the basement very small space mostly just my washer dryer and like i don't know like a s what's the measurements of that maybe three feet by three feet i don't know on the side of the washer dryer that i can store some stuff so that's where we're gonna stack the boxes that don't fit on the shelves in the shed that is the plan so that's what we're doing right now oh yeah and then we got home and that's what we are already in a bummed mood and then we had a letter in the mail from our landlord 
saying that our rent is going up starting September 1st. And it was a big hike in difference of rent. And uh, Joe got a call from his mom yesterday that his car insurance was going up. So it's just been a lot of like bad news lately that has to do with money and cost. And I'm sure we're all feeling it. Everything's been going up due to the C word and inflation and all that. So it's just been a little nerve wracking and kind of been a blah day, which is kind of sad because I was really hyped up and looking forward to it but it is what it is back to organizing some home decor but i just wanted to check in with you guys you guys it is saturday it's raining on and off uh, today too so originally we were supposed to go to barbecue at joe's mom's house but she switched it and now it's just gonna be a dinner inside the house so but it's gonna be later now now it's gonna be more like dinner time at five the cookout was originally gonna be at like one or two so we have some time so joe is washing dishes and cleaning the oven and stuff like that um especially after the trifle that we made for fourth of july it definitely made a few dishes that's the only thing i hate about making desserts that require like a lot of steps i literally told my brother because he was like oh my god this was so good and i'm like well i'm glad you enjoyed it but i was like you literally have to make a whole cake separately then you literally have to make a whole pudding separately then you have to cut wash and prep a whole bunch of fruit separately and then layer it all together so i made a lot of dishes and then we've been needing to clean the oven anyway. While he is doing that, this big stack of papers on the side of me and a box full of papers on the side of me, I'm going to make <coughs> a ton of books. Um, and this is what I'm going to be doing with the um, summer school next week and the following week. And it's also what I'll be using at the beginning of September. So at least it's like, you know, it's going to have a lot of life out of it. And it's basically a lot of hygiene. We're going to focus on that a lot um this year just based on like the kids i have at least for the summer for sure um so it's like how to take a bath how to take a shower how, when to use deodorant how to brush your teeth things like that De things that are definitely important things that are definitely life skills so i think i did 12 of each thing so that's a lot of books as i have so i have 12 books on taking a shower 12 books on taking a bath 12 books on <clears throat> brushing your teeth i have 12 books on using mouthwash 12 books on um, flossing your teeth, 12 books on using a water pick, um, 12 books on using deodorant, 12 books on washing your hair, 12 books on um, brushing your hair. So that's nine things that I remember because there might even be more. And then 12, what's 12 times nine? <laughs> so I got a lot of books. That's why this pile is real thick. Got my staple here right on the side of me. Nice free coffee table for the most part because I got to like stack things. Because that's the only thing when I made the copies, obviously it all, so pa page one is all stacked together. Page two is all stacked together. So now I got to actually put it together, make books and staple. And then the vocab page, I specifically want to laminate. Because what I'm going to have them do, I'll show you guys. So the um, the vocab page, I printed 22 page, uh, 24 pages. I doubled it. Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to laminate one. This is the black and white. I'm actually going to tell these how I, uh, I did uh, another one in, in color. With my kids, it's always good to have color. And then with the other one that's exactly the same, I am going to cut out the pictures and the definitions, laminate, and then I want them to match the definition and the picture to the word. So... Just so it's a little more interactive <clears throat> as they flip through the book we'll go we'll go back we'll look at our vocab words those kind of things and then each book also has a quiz at the end very simple just three questions just to see if they comprehended uh let me see if i can find one to give you guys an example so oh yeah so that is the vocab then this is the step on step on taking i don't know if this is taking a bath or washing your hair i think that's taking a shower so it has 12 steps. So page one through six is on another page. Seven through 12 is on another page. Then there's like a little story, like turn the faucet on. Obviously, we'll read that. And then after the story, I believe it should be the little quiz. I didn't make any. Can you imagine if I made all this? That's what it took even longer. This was all in a book that they provided me. Just making the copies in the books is going to take hours. That's why teacher prep time is a real thing, guys. A lot of work from home. So here's the quiz. So it's like, first thing in the morning, take a walk, shower, or cat. And they can circle the answer. Make sure you blank before getting in. Sock, soap, or house. 
make sure you have i mean before getting in and then turn the blank to the blank you want and the words are temperature faucet mouse so quick easy simple little books and they will come in handy because i'll use them over and over and over again what i'm gonna do with the quiz is i'm not gonna attach it to the book and i'll have the kids not write their name not write anything on the book so that way they can be reused over and over again and just the quiz i'll have to make copies of when i need um so yeah i'll be doing this for the next few hours before joe's mom's barbecue uh, i mean not barbecue anymore dinner um i'm probably just gonna throw on something quick and easy for our house because you guys know when we go there we tend to stay a while which is no problem with me i love joe's mom um but i like to be cozy because we end up staying there late like we'll probably be there late usually after we eat we watch a movie sometimes two movies i'm leaving there it's like midnight so i want to be comfy cozy same as if it was my mom's house so yeah this is what i'll be doing i hope you guys have better plans on this lovely saturday um it's just you know the rain's really been putting a damper but that's how it is here it'll be because it the humidity needs to break so it's been super humid super muggy my clothes was like sticking to me so it was gross ended up raining in the evening a little bit throughout the night and then it's raining again today then we'll have like a really hot week again and then when the humidity breaks again and it rains again it's just kind of blah that it's raining on the weekend when i'm off especially the long weekend but it is what it is it's mother nature let me know how the weather is where you guys are i'm sure it's very very hot but do you guys get a lot of rain or no guys so i started this project around 2 30 someone's being needy it is now 5 30 so yes dinner was can dinner was canceled with joe's mom she ended up calling joe right around four and she's like hey i hate to do this to you guys last minute but what about we postpone to tomorrow so we can actually do it as a cookout so joe was like oh that's fine so we have to figure out a quick dinner which is no big deal probably do some pasta or something headed to the kitchen right now but since i was in the flow i said might as well finish this then because there was no way i was going to get it done before five i was just going to do as much as i could well i just finished and it's 5 45 so i started this project around 2 30 so that means it took me over three hours that's what i mean all unpaid time granted i was watching some youtube and stuff but let me flip over so you guys can see all the bundles of paperwork i did so we got a whole stack here a whole nother stack here and another small stack there they are all stapled paper clipped organized and i gotta carry this all into the school on monday <laughs> that's why my arms are killing me by the time i get home or I'd get to the car i mean He's like, film me. I want to be rich and famous. Guys, I just came on to end the vlog. I just edited the whole thing. Unfortunately, I had to edit on my phone. The laptop is not working out. I am going like insane. I have to figure out something soon because I can't keep editing on my phone. It's really hard on the so smaller screen. And then it just, it's not even that. It's that it eats up memory on my phone. So if I keep doing every single video on my phone, then eventually it gets to the point where I can't film on my phone anymore. So I need to figure out a solution. But anyway, at least I got it done. So the last little clip you see is Mango getting his attention. We and Joe literally, as soon as that clip was filmed, we went to the kitchen. We made dinner, ate, and relaxed for the rest of the night. And then Sunday, you guys know I don't, it, it would have been a new vlog anyway. But you guys know I don't usually film on Sunday. That's family day. So we just hung out at his mom's having a little barbecue. I hope you guys had a better 4th of July weekend. 4th of July was beautiful here. So that wasn't bad. It was just a Friday, Saturday downpour, honestly. Sunday was a decent day again. Um, it was just kind of bummed because I was really looking forward to like the four-day week. And it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But alas, I got no control over Mother Nature. And it's long gone now because I'm editing this video. And it's like the last week of July. I'm going to try to edit one more to post for tomorrow so I can get a little caught up. But it's really, really hard on my phone. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Give it all the likes, the love, the shares, the comments. Because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Make it worth all the headaches I am getting over it. And I love vlogs. Like, I love watching vlogs. I love filming it for you guys. It's just... I have to figure out a way to do it that's not on my phone. I'm fine with filming on my phone. I just mean like the editing and uploading because if not, it eventually gets to the point where I can't even use my phone. So I have to figure this out. But anyway, be safe, guys.